as you guys know, we have ex been experiencing some paranormal activity here at Boston High School Theater. Um, on the road we're sitting here up in the catwalk, uh, we often hear what appears to sound like um, footsteps, heavy footsteps running back and forth. Even our assistant principal, Mr. Carr, has um, heard this at one time or another. The lights flicker up here. That could just be faulty wiring because this school is just really old and awful. But <laughs> yeah, um, first we're just going to test and see if there's indeed um, spirit activity going on here. What I have here, guys, is um, a pendulum. It's a tool used to just detect energy flows and other marvelous things. This can answer yes and no questions that I direct towards it. So, um, ew. Um, <laughs> all right, so first I'm gonna see if it's a good energy thing going on around here. So, see how it's like spinning clockwise, or my clockwise? That means um, there's a good bit amount of energy here. If it picks up any faster, yeah. There we go. So we can actually work with what we have here. So are there any spirits um, in this particular room here? Okay, I'm getting a really faint yes. When um, it goes back and forth, like the way it is really faintly, that means yes. If it goes um, side to side, that means no. Alright, so um, I'm going to test and see how many there are, because based on our EVP evidence, we're picking up on two. So let's just see. Um, is there at least one spirit here? Okay, I'm getting a yes. Alright, are there at least two spirits here? spirits here. That's a yes. Alright, four? There are four spirits here? Okay, that's a no. So it appears that there's at least three spirits that could be here. Now, I'm going to try and figure out why. Um, Chris, could you... What I'm going to try and attempt to do here is something that I've been practicing for some time. It's called automatic writing. It's a... Um, I'm forgetting words today. Um, it's a method used by mediums to uh, pick up on spirits. They can channel spirits through, and they can use my hand to communicate. So. Um, I'm going to first ask it a series of questions. You're not going to hear what I'm going to say, but I'm going to yeah. interpret the questions with the answers I get. So, shit, it's loud. <laughs> um, Okay, so um, if you want to get a shot of this, pretty much you can see what has happened here. Um, that's all the communication I've gotten. You can kind of tell when you're finished when you just feel like your head has stopped buzzing. But um, 
just let me know when you've gotten a good shot of that, and then I will go ahead and tell you. Yeah, I'm good. All right. <coughs> Basically, I asked it why it was here, and it never really answered my question, but pretty much it looks like it says farmhouse, cows, dairy, everything. I can't even read that. Um, looks like one of the words said mom. Yeah, I see mom and me. Uh, I don't know if that could be dad. Well, like, Bel Air Falston area used to be just, like, all farms, like, dairy farms. Really? Yeah. I honestly didn't know that. We, like, um, the Hartford Mall, that used to be a racehorse track. That was? Yeah. Hmm. And right next to it was a dairy farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, maybe we can ask around and see if we could figure out... We could go on the internet and look it up. Yeah, and see if what was here first, but that was kind of weird. It just kind of, like, exploded.